Hey everyone, Marcelo from Adventures here. I'm going to be doing a review on Raven Customs, The Brute. Little side note, we came out to the Los Padres National Forest at the White Oak Campground in the Monterey County side of the Los Padres. Um, real, real basic dispersed camping. Uh, obviously, I'm sitting here on a picnic table, but um, probably somewhere I wouldn't bring my family to to stay overnight. Uh, seems to be a lot of trash cans there with bullet holes and trash and whatnot. Hate to see that stuff when it happens. Not that I'm not adventurous, but yeah, probably not your, you know, grade A spot to bring family and stay overnight. So just a little heads up. Okay, back to the brute by Raven Customs. Um, I saw Raven Customs on Instagram, and I began to follow him because I saw the work that he did. Uh, if you're someone that's into vintage, rustic, uh, outdoorsy. Um, tools, axes, hatchets, or if you, even if you do the bushcraft, this is the guy to check out because he can customize these things to the T and they just look great. So real quick, I'll give a close up of what we got here. So here you have the green leather sheath, which is nice and thick. It smells great as well. Um, it's got the copper riveting, as you can see here. Uh, brass button with the leather strap. The Raven, his trademark uh, etched design on the axe head itself. He chose to go with a Sears USA. Um, I'm pretty sure if you ask him, or even if you have an axe head, I don't know how, how that works, but I'm sure Aaron would work with you if you had an axe head that you wanted to be um, restored and you know put on a new handle or whatnot. I'm pretty sure he can do that. That's something you would have to hit him up on. Um, he put the green stain. I asked for the green stain. I, don't, I like the color green, as you can see. It's on my shirt or whatnot. The inlays... The strap, the fastening of the axe head itself. I mean, this guy just does amazing work. So I'm going to get back over here, make sure I don't fall down. So let's check it out. So you pull the sheath off. It's got an amazing, amazing edge to it. And it feels good in the hand, especially for me. I'm not a big guy, uh, but it feels great in the hand. He did the, you know, the curvature of the handle is great. Like I said, the edge, it's got a great edge on it. All around, great tool. Obviously, this is the Brute, so it's a little stocky guy. Um, you're definitely not going to be chopping down a tree um, or splitting wood with it. You could. Um, you can definitely split wood with it, but what I'm getting at is that, you know, you're not, you're not going to chop down a tree with it. This is more of a crafting tool to hone, shape, uh, help you build a shelter if you're doing the bushcraft thing or you're out in the wilderness or whatnot. It would work tremendous in those areas. Aaron uh, from Raven Customs, obviously he does axes. He'll do double blade axes. He, um, you know, I've even seen him do a really nice, clean, tricked out sledgehammer. I mean, the guy's got skills and talent and he does a great job. So all around, two thumbs up for this. I love it. I, you know, I'm someone that has a big... Uh, uh, a love for the things that are rustic, vintage, and just the old way of camping and whatnot. I'm not a bushcrafter. I would love to get more into that. Um, and the guys that do the bushcraft, man, big time kudos to those guys because they got a skill and a talent that's second to none. So once again, Raven Customs, uh, the Brute. That's what this has been dubbed, as you can see. Looks amazing. And uh, go check them out. So... Stay adventurous, guys. It's how we live. Thank you.